What's, What's up, up Kennedy, Kennedy Squad? Squad? It's your boy Jim B. And your girl Bree Bree. And today, 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 we're going to be reacting to confirmation that Lil Dirk's brother passed away. Or died, got killed. Assassinated. Execution style. God damn. Why you say that? That's what they said. Damn. They got shot in the head. For real? That's what, it, that's what it said. So, um, I'm gonna watch a witty apparatus. It's like that's how you say it. Yeah, witty apparatus. Um, if you want, if you want the like the latest breaking news, go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's always uploading, uh, three, four times a day. If it's news and hip hop, he's gonna upload it. But let's hop into the video. I'm skipping your ad, brother. The you understand. <laughs> You understand. <laughs> Normally we don't though. Norm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Normally we don't skip the ads. Normally we don't skip the but ads. Because with, with, the YouTube reaction, is, with YouTubers, I actually like. We watch I, I watch ads. the ads. But, but in this, in this situation, case, yeah. with a reaction video, I'm skipping ads. Sorry. It's all love though. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, man, this is some sad news, man. Well, it looks like TMZ has officially confirmed that Lil Durk's brother, D-Thing, has passed away, man. And it was due to some senseless gun violence, man. Sad situation. It looks like, man, they assigned a case number. This is a real thing. This isn't a rumor anymore. It's been confirmed by an official news source. Now, I know TMZ has gotten things wrong before. But I think in this situation... He, like, way older. How old is Lil Durk? Probably, like, 26. Eight. Nah, because I think he was like eighteen. Nah, let me not say. Let me not act serious. Who's eighteen? Lil Durk. Nah, because like he was like eighteen, like when he very first came out, and I think I was in like freshman in high school. Lil Durk probably like twenty-seven. Lil Durk is twenty-eight. He's older than both of us. Just by a year or two. Ain't that old. That they're actually, man, jumping out ahead. They probably did all their checks because they're just now talking about the situation as it's happening. You know what I mean? And they're going on the record and, and officially confirming this. So we're going to go off of that. Stop. Before you get makeup on my all shirt. All right. Yes, I didn't even are. put my face on you. Oh, so, okay. Bet. We're going to get makeup bet. on my shirt. All right, bet. I just got this out bet. the dryer. Okay, bet. Who washed it and put it in the dryer? Oh. You did, mama. Please don't fucking play with me. <laughs> don't mind us, y'all. Hey, go ahead and like us, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, Even if you don't comment. This is really a sad subscribe. situation. Yeah, we, we playing, laughing but at each other. We not laughing at to the keep the situation. Crying. Yeah. That was a stretch. We wouldn't be crying, but it is. It's really sad that he keeps losing people close to him like that, especially your blood. It's kind of ironic. Really is, but I mean, it all. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like every time you drop something big, somebody dies. But mm. I just think it's a coincidence. A coincidence? Right? On the back in blood, when like three times platinum, King Von dies. Come out with a tape with little baby. Your brother dies. I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm not saying that 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 is that, but that's what you insinuating. It's lining and, up. I mean, like, how the fuck do you sacrifice somebody? Do you just, like, call the devil and be like, hey, like, I want to give Jeremy up so our YouTube channel can blow up tomorrow? How do I sign up? Like, do you go meet somebody? Like, I don't know. It's probably, like, you got to go to, like, this little dark room, and then you write their name on it, on the wall. And drop your own blood on it? Mm hmm Let me find out. Hmm. I'm getting the fuck away from you. This I'm about nigga, to get my hell much, cat. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those of you who've been living under a rock this morning, or you don't know what's going on as far as Chicago hip hop is concerned, D Thang, who is the older brother of rap superstar Lil Durk, there was a rumor going around that he had been shot and killed in Chicago, Illinois, early this morning. Now, this is wild because you could see on his social media that he had been out partying or he was like at an event with a lot of people and it just looked like a safe, normal event. But then news came out this morning that he had been shot and killed and people were 
were wondering what went down or if it was true or not. Well, TMZ has confirmed this rumor is not a rumor anymore. It's true. All right, so I'm going to break down the specifics and go over the story and how they confirmed everything. But do me a favor. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and all that. And let's go over this sad news. Oh, yeah, right into it. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, first I want to open up by saying rest in peace, D-Thang. I don't know, man. It's just, uh, this uh, this one hits a little harder because, you know, even though D-Thang was a rapper, he really just wasn't out there like that, you know, dissing people like that on social media as much. A lot of people don't know this. As much as you would. You know, it's most of the things that I see about him were positive, about him being a party promoter and all that stuff, man. So you you hate to see it. It's almost like, you know, a regular person, you know, getting shot, like a regular civilian getting shot. You know, it's a tragic story when you hear it. Even though he's closely connected to, to Lil Dirk because he's OTF and that's his team and that's his little brother and stuff, nah, it doesn't ease up any of the situation or make it any, any easier to digest. You know what I mean? But, man, let's get into the specifics with all that said. And once again, rest in peace, D-Thing. You know, and, man, condolences to Lil Dirk, his family, the whole crew, everybody at OTF and everything like that, man. Because they've been going through it lately, man. Hey, man, this is wild. All right, let's go. Okay, so in order to break this down, we're going to read this TMZ story, you know, pretty much verbatim. But, man, we're going we're gonna to cut out some of the points where we already understand and know. But, man, it starts off, it says, Lil Dirk, brother, OTF D-Thing, dead at 32, reportedly shot and killed. All right. Now, it starts off, it says, Lil Dirk's older brother, OTF D-Thing, died this weekend. TMZ has confirmed. Yeah. Cook County officials tell us Dante Banks Jr., D-Thing's Government name was found deceased on the 7900 block of S of South Loomis Boulevard in Chicago and has been assigned a case number. An autopsy still has to be done to figure out the cause and manner of death. Now, we're going to stop right. right there. Now, you hear on social media a lot, man. As a Why do the autopsy need to do all that if they, they got shot? They, they like, literally have to do an autopsy. Unless you like die of like, cancer or something, you have to have an autopsy. But um, I, I just wanted to touch on the fact that I think like it, it kind of makes me feel away, too, when I don't even... I never even knew he had a fucking big brother. Or, like, seriously. Uh, because it's oh, like... Oh, there's this picture of him, Lil Dirk, with his dad and another dude. But I never thought it was We didn't brother. know that, that was his actual blood brother. And, like, I feel like it, it it's, like, hit close to home. Because it's like, damn, what if that was him or something? Like, it's got to stop somewhere. And then, like, the fact that it happened in Chicago, like, where they rep so hard and where they from, like... Get the fuck out of there. Like, what's there? I mean, the brother, like, uh, from what I heard, he be throwing parties and stuff. That's, yeah. like, what he do. He, like, a party promoter. So, But, like, with everything like, going on, All, all like, his parties normally be cool. But, you know, he had that line in that song that just came out Friday, two days ago, where they, he said, uh, I forgot what he said, but he said that y'all not riding for, don't say his name, something, something. But he didn't say his name it was a gunshot, but... You could tell that he was trying to say, about to say duck. Because that was the only thing that would have rhymed right there. Yeah. So, I mean, like. If you engaging in that, then you got to be prepared of what could come to it. Even though, even if you live a, if I lived a perfect ass life and you made a fucking diss song about somebody that people care about and I got on it, you, you in it. Like. Yeah. You in it. So, it's sad. And they pretty much can't get dirt because, I mean. He's, he's untouchable. He's where wherever some money's at. Right. Not in Chicago. So, I mean, closest thing. It's sad. This morning. People were surprised that D-Thang was still in Chicago, man. That he still, you know, was in Chicago in the streets. Not saying he was in the streets, because we don't know that. For all intents and purposes, from what was on his social media page, it looked like he was at, like, an elegant event. It looked like somebody's... 50th birthday party or something mm -hmm. like that. And maybe oh, wow. that's where people I've seen what was up with him or knew where he was, was at. Like, because that? you can clearly get a good sign or, or see the, the venue that he's in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know this social media thing is a wonderful thing. But, man, it's a bad thing on the same end. You know what I mean? And I don't want to say that lightly. Like, you know, he, there's anything he could have did to prevent his death. Because we still don't know the cause of death. Because the autopsy didn't say the cause of death. And I wonder, 
fine tune that point, man. I wanted to actually talk about that point because they made it a, a a point to say that. You know what I mean? That nobody knows the cause of death yet. Huh? But I thought they said he got shot. He did get shot, but they don't want to say that. I guess. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man, and I know you're enjoying this video, but make sure you go and you follow me on social media platforms like Instagram, and also go to my Twitter page and make sure you hit that follow button there so you can get the latest and greatest updates of when I'm dropping my videos. And man, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button, so we can spread this video around, and we're trying to get 2,000 likes, so run them likes up. All right. Now, let's continue with the report. So, <laughs> the report says this. Movie, yeah. It says, right. reports say D-Thang was shot in the head outside of a nightclub and died on the spot, citing alleged witnesses who say they saw the shooting go down. Now, they're saying that witnesses were there to see the shooting go down and that he was shot in the head. Now, I haven't seen any of these witnesses step forward in the news or media or anything like that, but there's good reason why they wouldn't do that. So, man, let's continue. Yeah. D-Thang was a rapper himself but wasn't nearly as big as Dirk is, who's blowing up right now. Still, he's got a string of songs out, although it doesn't look like he they'd ever collab. So basically, man, that's almost like some shade. Basically, they're saying that him and Dirk never collabed on a song, even though he was a rapper as well. But according to a lot of people online, inc including uh, King Von's uncle, uh, Range Rover Hang, it seems like, man, he was a party promoter that was fairly successful at what he did prior to Lil Durk blowing up in the rap game. Remember, Durk's rise to ascension in the rap game has been a long rise, and he just recently got to the level that he's at now, as they mentioned in the story right there. Now, it finishes by saying this. It says, this is just the latest tragedy to strike Durk's inner circle. He's lost a handful of friends and loved ones over the years, including, famously, the death of label mate King Von, who was shot and killed last year. A producer he'd worked closely with named Turn Me Up Josh also oh, yeah, just died last you. week. Stop there. Yeah, man. I forgot about that. Okay, man. This is wild. Like, I know people say a lot of stuff about Dirk or whatever. There's a lot of rumors out there. There's even videos going off of those rumors. But this is real. That's amazing, don't you? That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I forgot that producer died. That's that was like much. last week. Yeah. Real life. And it's real sad, man. That gun violence has been this heavily, you know, placed in his in his inner circle. Even though turn turn me up, Josh, he did not die from gun violence. It was something related to his health, and he had been battling something for a while. I don't want to talk about, but it's man, that's sad. What you mean? That's we'll sad on its own. But then to compound that. To have on. that compiled in that. with your brother losing his life, man, that's that's tough, man. Dirk yeah. Mike, man, and this is supposed to be one of the biggest weeks he ever had in hip hop. Imagine that, man. All right, so the report it ends like this, man. It says Dirk hasn't commented on his brother's passing yet, but condolences have been pouring in all over social media. D Thing was 32 years old, and it says R.I.P. at the end, man. Okay, now that we got an official report. And it's definitely true at this point. I mean, there's still room for error. And I know TMZ gets a bad rap, but they usually got their ducks in a row, man. They usually don't report on a death or anything like that, you know, because they're an official news and journalistic entity. You know what I'm saying? So they have to carry some sort of, you know, they have to, they have to be professional about it. And they have to carry some sort of validity in most of their reports, I'm trying to say. Now, what do you guys think about this whole situation, man? It's been the biggest story in in hip hop right now this morning, and it's sad at the same time, man. Because Lil Durk has worked really hard to get to the top of hip hop, but it seems on the way up and in one of the. Thank you. So you're welcome. Um, I don't know. I feel like saying that he's sacrificing people. I feel like. He um he seems very compassionate about the people he loves. Like he se he seems like he loves strongly people he loves and he people who he loves and I don't feel like he would sit there and actually give up somebody's you know, somebody he loves for success. No, I don't, I don't either, but like but I mean, it's he's just successful like, it's just, right now, so it why just would happens he, like so 
ironically. Yeah, maybe maybe his ops do that shit on purpose or something, but like I don't think that he has anything to do with it. And I definitely don't think that he will sit there and give his brother away for what? I don't know. That's crazy. I don't, sad, I don't know. Y'all, y'all comment sad. down below what y'all Let think. us know what y'all think. I don't think he gave his brother up. I don't think he gave nobody up. I think that, I mean. Look, before this video, we do got to give a moment of silence for D-Thing. And make right, sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We out. Why the video ain't like that? <laughs> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. What? <laughs> rest in peace. Rest in peace, D-Thing. For real.